Hello, my name is Evan Lamb, and for my final project, I decided to do it about Saturn. Um, as you can see, I did a little 3D model for everyone. That's Saturn's ring. We got Titan. We got Rhea and Hyptus. That is uh, three of the largest moons that uh, orbit around Saturn. Um, so throughout this presentation, I will give you a little information on Saturn. Originally, I was going to talk about the rings, but we uh, did that, however, in our Lab 7, Lab 8, I believe, on Saturn's rings. So I might touch on them a little bit, but I'm not going to talk about it as much as I am going to be more focused on Saturn and the moons. Alright, so to start out, we know that Saturn is one of two gas giants. Um, it is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium. Saturn has seven rings. We know that that is made from debris, uh, from all types of things, debris, meteor, and it just getting in orbit and going around Saturn, ice. There's just a bunch of stuff that make up those rings. Um, the moons go around, orbit around Saturn, around those rings as well. Um, there are 53 known moons to Saturn, accor according to NASA. However, uh, there, are, there are different websites say different things. Some say 83, some say over 90. But Saturn is, does have a lot of moons, um, some smaller than others. Titan being huge, which we'll go into in a second. Um, all that being said, Saturn can not support life because it is a gas giant and most it's mostly made up of gas it's not a solid surface so however their scientists believe that some of the moons may be able to or definitely have some conditions that could be livable but no one's for certain that it is habitable on any moon out there in Saturn so the first moon we're going to talk about Saturn is Saturn's biggest moon Titan we also learned about this it is 5,150 kilometers in size. That is the second largest moon in the whole solar system. Um, it is one of the few moons that does have an atmosphere in our solar system as well. And in fact, it actually has a thicker atmosphere than Earth does. And that's the, that yellow one right there is Titan. The second moon we're gonna, the second and third moon we're gonna be going over today are. Rhea and Iptis. Um, I misspelled that. Uh, it's supposed to be I P E T U S. That's no big deal. However, uh, so we'll start off with Rhea. Rhea is about 1,528 kilometers in size, while Iptis is pretty close in 1,436. They're also just about the same width in kilometers as the state of California. So they're pretty comparable in size, how it, and they're both, like I said, ice moons. Their coloring is different and unique. So Rhea is mostly red, but NASA says it is heavily cratered with um, wispy white streaks. I don't, couldn't really find too much information on why that is. And then Ipidus is cool in its own way, as it is... Um, one of the very few, if not only, object in the solar system that kind of looks like this. It is half, you can't really tell from the video, but it is about half dark and half bright. So it is like it's literally half black, half white. It's pretty, uh, pretty interesting to see that within the solar system. And so that is my project. I'll give you guys a little closer look on that. But I appreciate everyone for watching and have a great rest of the semester.